an introduction to seriation hello friends i am the parrot welcome to this lesson let us see what you will learn in this chapter we are going to learn what is the order of objects and how to arrange objects in an order based on their characteristics it's morning time and chotu has just woken up he gets up and brushes his teeth first then he takes bath after taking bath he gets ready for school then he eats breakfast and drinks milk this is the order of chotu's morning activities this means every morning he does these activities one after the other in this order so come on children now take a paper and one by one write down all the activities you do after waking up in the morning and before leaving home for school first write the first activity you do after waking up in the morning then write down the next activity you do and so on and write all the activities you do at home before leaving for your school this is the order of your activities does the order of your activities matches chotu's order of activities do you know that just like chotu and your daily activities are in the same order similarly different objects or individuals can also be arranged in an order to understand this better let us see the balls placed on the table of chotu's house starting from the left first is the largest bowl in which fruits are kept then a smaller bowl is kept in which chotu's mother serves curry and finally the smallest bowl is kept in which chotu eats his food this means based on their size these three bowls are arranged in the order from the biggest to the smallest in this way objects can be arranged in an order based on any of their characteristics this process is called seriation children do you also have such bowls of different sizes at home can you arrange them in an order based on their size Now after eating his morning breakfast and drinking milk Chotu leaves for school On the way he sees a lemonade vendor The lemonade vendor has three different size of glasses a small glass a medium size glass and a large glass So children can we say that all three glasses are placed in an order Yes You guys are absolutely correct like the bowls these glasses are also placed in an order starting from the left the smallest glass is kept first followed by the medium size glass and at the end the largest glass is kept this means that all the three glasses depending on their size are placed in an order from small to large size do you understand Chotu gets tempted and asks the lemonade vendor for a small glass of lemonade. Then he quickly drinks lemonade and leaves for school. So children, that is all for today. In this video we have learned what is the order of objects. How objects are arranged in order from largest to smallest or smallest to largest depending on their characteristics. and this process of arranging objects in order is called the seriation in the next video we will see some more examples of seriation 
Till then, you should definitely practice arranging the objects around you in different types of order based on their characteristics. Bye, friends. Examples of Seriation So children, in the previous video you have learned what is the order of objects. Based on the characteristics of the objects, how they are arranged in large to small or small to large order. And this process of arranging things in order is called Seriation. In this video, we will see some examples of seriation in which we will arrange different people and objects in order based on their characteristics. Today, Chotu's class is going for a picnic. And Chotu's teacher asks all the children to stand in groups of four. Then she asks the four children to stand in a line in the small to large order based on their height. Chotu and his three other friends, Aarti, Neha and Sonu, begin to stand in a line. First of all, being the shortest among all the four children, Chotu stands in front. Neha, who is taller than him but shorter than the rest, stands behind him. Sonu stands behind Neha. Then finally, Aarti stands behind Sonu. But Sonu just notices that he is taller than Neha. But falls to notice that Aarti is shorter than him. So children, are Chotu and his friend standing in the correct order of height? Chotu and Neha are standing in the right order. But Sonu and Aarti are not. Aarti realizes this as she is not able to see anything by standing behind Sonu. Therefore, Aarti should have stood in front of Sonu as she is shorter than Sonu in height but makes Sonu realize his mistake. Sonu, just now you saw that you are taller than Neha but you did not see that I am also shorter than you. I am taller than Neha and shorter than you. So I should stand behind Neha whereas I should stand in front of you. Oh yes, Aarti. You are absolutely right. So children, while making the order, Sonu saw that he was taller than the children standing in front. But he did not see whether the children who were not standing in the line are shorter in height than Sonu. And hence, he made this mistake. Finally, Chotu and three of his friends stood in the correct increasing order of their height, that is, from short to tall. Children reached the park for a picnic. There, Chotu and his friends decide to play seven stones. First of all, Aarti and Chotu start making a pile of stones based on their size from big to small. For this, Aarti gathers four stones from the surrounding. Then she puts the biggest stone at the bottom. To keep the rest of the stones, she asks for Chotu's help. Chotu, now out of the remaining three stones, put the largest stone on this stone. But Aarti, why are we placing these stones in the big to small order? 
we place a large size stone on a small size stone then it will fall down because its balance will be disturbed look chotu just like this therefore we will place a big stone at the bottom and then smaller than that so that the balance of the stones is maintained oh okay now out of the remaining two stones put the big stone on top of these two stones all right aarti and now let's also put the large stone very good chotu now our stone pile is ready come on let's play seven stones now children in this example you saw how chotu and aarti made a pile of stones by keeping them in the decreasing order of their size one by one that is from large to small size so children tell me did you enjoy seeing examples of seriation okay so that's all for today in this video we have learned how to organize different people or objects in order from small to large or from large to small i hope you have understood this topic properly bye friends friends how are you i am parrot and i welcome you all to this lesson in this video we will learn about the sequence of different activities today is chotu school holiday and he is going to see the fair in the evening chotu is very excited to go to the fair so today he is up early he got up to clean his teeth as soon as he got up and then he takes a shower chotu get ready quickly and come for your breakfast chotu comes for breakfast after bathing mm. mom breakfast is very tasty chotu eats food comfortably and then he goes out to play with sonu Chotu and Sonu played with a ball first and then they kept cycling for a long time Chotu comes back home after cycling Chotu comes back home and eats his lunch for the day After eating he starts watching TV Chotu is now eagerly waiting only for the evening. He is very excited to go to the fair. Children, do you remember what Chotu has done since morning today? All right, let's see. Here is the routine that Chotu followed. Hey children, what did Chotu do after brushing his teeth? Yes, that's right. After brushing his teeth, Chotu went to take a bath. And can you see what Chotu did before going to play with Sonu? Tell tell. You are right. Chotu had his breakfast before going to play. It is evening and Chotu is ready to go to the fair. Chotu arrives at the fair with his friend Sonu. There he saw a pot maker making a pot. Children, do you know how a pot is made? Come let's see what Chotu and Sonu are looking at. First, the pot maker has poured water into the dry clay to make a pot. After adding water, he kneaded clay well with his hands. After that, he keeps the clay on the wheel 
and rotates it. And then wetting his hands, rotating the wheels gives shape to the clay. And as soon as it comes in shape, he separates the pot from the wheel with the help of a thread. After detaching it from the wheel, the raw pot is baked. And then the pot becomes ready. So children, this was the order of the process of making a pot. Chotu and Sonu were standing there watching this. And then Chotu said, Come on Sonu, let's go and try to make a pot. Chotu and Sonu went to make a pot. So hey kids, that's all for today and in this video you learned about the sequence of different activities. In the next video we will see some more examples of different activities and their order. Till then, bye bye kids. Examples of Sequence of Events Part 1 Hello kids, in the previous video you learned about the sequence of different activities. In this video we will see some examples of different activities and placing them in order. Chotu and Aarti are talking while coming home from school. Aarti, today I had a lot of fun in school. Really Chotu, tell me about it. Today when you went to fill your bottle with water, Madam praised me a lot. She was saying that I always complete my work on time. Oh wow Chotu, when do you do your work? Tell me. You know Aarti, I finish all my homework as soon as I reach home. Only then I go to play. So Aarti, what do you do first when you reach home? Chotu, I get tired after going home from school. So then I sleep first and only then I do some other work. Hey children, can you tell what Chotu does when he reaches home first? Yes, he finishes his homework first. And what will Chotu do after studying? Absolutely right kids, after studying he will go and play. The next day in Chotu's class, his madam asked everyone to write their routine. Chotu also wrote down his routine. Let's see the routine that Chotu follows. Chotu got up early in the morning to go to school. Then he got ready and had breakfast. After that, he went to school and studied. Then came back from school in the afternoon and had food. And then he studied again. After studying, he went to play with his friends. And then went to sleep after having dinner. This was Chotu's routine. So children, have you ever thought about your routine? Here are some activities that take place throughout the day. Children, can you tell which of these activities we do in the morning? Yes, in the morning we bathe and brush our teeth. And now, can you tell us what do we do in the evening? You are absolutely right children. We play in the evening and we also study. These are the activities that happen at different times throughout our day. So that's it kids. That's all for today. In this video we have seen some examples of different activities and we also learned their order. In the next video we will see the sequence of some more activities. Till then, bye bye kids. Examples 
of sequence of events part 2 hello children in the previous video we saw some examples related to the sequence of different activities in this video we will see some more examples related to the sequence of activities the bird has nestled on a tree near chotu and pinky's house children they both see the birds every day come let's see what are they talking about today hey pinky look today this bird has some eggs in its nest Yes, Chotu, and they look so cute. Look how is this bird cleaning its eggs and then sitting on them and keeping them warm. Yes, you are right. Now come on, Chotu. We will come again tomorrow and see these eggs. Let's go home for now. Pinky and Chotu come to see the eggs every day. One day they saw that out of all one of the eggs had hatched and as the egg hatched one chick came out of it his eyes were not open yet he was lying comfortably after a few days when chotu and pinky came they saw that the chick's eye had opened and he was trying to stand and after a month Chotu and Pinky saw that that chick was flying. One day he flew so far that he felt that he had lost his way back. But then he looked back and saw that his mother was flying behind him. Seeing his mother, the fear was gone and after some time the two returned to their nest. Chotu and Pinky enjoyed watching that bird. Hey kids, you enjoyed it too, didn't you? So you have seen how the birds grow up. So kids, that's all for today and in this video we learned about the sequence of different activities. I hope that you understood this topic properly today. Bye kids Duration of events Hello children I am a parrot welcome to this lesson Let's see what we will learn in this lesson viewing the sequence of activities and comparing the time taken in different activities today chotu's grandmother is telling a story to chotu before going to sleep chotu the name of this story is minku and her new friend grandmom who is minku's new friend You will know that in a while, Chotu. So once upon a time, Minku, who is just like you, was going to play with his friends. On the way, he saw a puppy who was very scared. Mintu went to the dog and picked the dog on his lap. Tell me what happened then. Then he took that puppy home with him and at first gave him some water and then some biscuits to eat. That puppy became Minku's friend and both of them started living together. Wherever Minku used to go, he always used to take him along. So Chotu, did you see Minku's new friend? Now come on, you should sleep. It's too late. I will tell you the next story tomorrow. Children, so today you heard the story of Minku and his new friend. Do you remember the sequence of the story? Let's see what happened first. 
That's right. Minku was first going to play with his friends. After that, Minku saw a small puppy on the way. And then he took him on his lap. After taking him in his arms, he took him home. And then he gave the puppy something to drink and eat. And in the last, Minku and the puppy became friends and they lived together forever. So children, this was the sequence of the meeting of Minku and his new friend. The next day, Chotu was having lunch with Neha in the interval. After eating food, Chotu went towards his class. And Neha first went to fill water in her bottle and after that she went to her class. Children, what do you think who would have reached the class first? Come on, let's see. Here is the path that Chotu followed and here is Neha's path. Yes, Chotu reached the classroom first. Because Chotu went straight to the class. But Neha went to fill water first and then to the classroom. This means that Neha had to walk more than Chotu to fill the water and it even took some time to reach the classroom. Children, what will take longer? In going from one room to another in your house? Walking from your home to your school? You guessed it right children. You will take more time from your home to school because you will have to walk more to get there. So kids, that's all for today. In this video you learned order of activities and learned to compare the time taken in different activities. In the next video, we will see some interesting examples of comparing time taken in different activities. Till then, bye-bye children. compare the time taken in different activities. In this video, we will see some interesting examples related to comparing the time taken in different activities. Today Chotu is filling water in the bucket with a tap for bathing. And at the same time, he is also filling a jug to water the plants from another tap. Children, if both the things start filling together, do you think that Chotu's jug will be filled first or the bucket? Yes, the first thing to get filled is jug and later the bucket. Because Chotu's jug is smaller than the bucket, it will carry less water. This means it will take more time to fill the bucket. After filling water, Chotu watered the plants and then took a quick shower and got ready to go to school. In the morning, it took much time for Chotu to water the plants and he got delayed in getting ready for school. Oh no, I missed my school bus. Because he missed his school bus, so he took out his bicycle and rode to school on a bicycle. Children, what do you think? Which way will Chotu take more time to reach the school? By his bicycle or by his school bus? You have guessed it right. It will take more time to go by bicycle because the bus runs faster than bicycle. Okay kids, that's all for today. In this video, we have seen interesting examples related to comparing the time taken 
in different activities. In the next video children, we will know about some common mistakes related to comparing the time taken in different activities which should not be done. Till then, bye bye children. common mistakes associated with finding the duration of events. Hello kids! In the previous video, we have seen some interesting examples of comparing the time taken in different activities, right? In this video, we will learn about some common mistakes related to comparing time taken in different activities. Chotu is going with his mother to his grandparents' house by train today. Chotu has come to the railway station for the first time. Mom, this train is so long. <laughs> yes, Chotu, there are lots of coaches in the train. Mother, this train is longer than the bus. It means that it will take us longer to reach my grandparents' house. <laughs> no, Chotu, it's not like that. The train runs faster than the bus. The length of the train is more, but it runs faster. So, we will reach by train quickly. Chotu has just reached home from school. As he entered, he saw both his uncles, aunts and his cousins have come to pay a visit. After coming back home from school, he was feeling very hungry. He went to his mother in the kitchen and asked her, Mom, I'm very hungry. Why haven't you given me food yet? Chotu, it will take some time to cook. Till then, you eat some biscuits. But mom, why will it take time? Every day you give me food as soon as I come back from school. Then why would it take time today? Chotu, every day I have to make food only for two or three people. But you already know that today both of your uncles, aunts and their children have come, right? So I will need to cook for more people today. That's why today it will take more time than other days. Okay mom, I got it. I will have some biscuits first and then we'll go to play with Tito for some time. But you call me as soon as the food is ready mom, okay? Yes yeah, sure Chotu. So children, did you see that you will take less time to cook for three people? and more time will be required to cook for more people. So children, that is it for today. In this video, we learned about some common mistakes which should not be done in comparing the time taken in different activities. And I hope that you have understood this topic completely and properly. Bye-bye friends!